Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Do you remember when uh, <clears throat> members of the European Union uh, were um, very, uh, you know, beating their chest that they will not pay um, rubles, they're not going to pay gas, Russian gas in rubles? Well, uh, it seems like that's not so, and we all knew that because uh, Europe cannot just uh, get rid of Russian gas overnight. So, uh, as you probably know, um, Poland uh, uh, and uh, Bulgaria had their uh, Russian gas cut off by Russia, as promised. That's why I'm keep I'm saying when Russians say something, they will do it. And there's a pattern. They have a very high uh, rate of consistency. When the Russians are saying we're getting towards the Third World War and nuclear war is very, very possible, or we're going to do this or we're going to do that, I would suggest, strongly suggest, that uh, uh, these guys in charge of us here in the West would be more serious about taking uh, you know, those words, you know, as, uh, I don't know, as serious, I would say, and it's, it's just they have to pay attention and don't shrug off the Russian claims. But what can I do? I voted, so I'm waiting four more years to vote again or three more years. So, yeah, that's how democracy works. Nevertheless, in this little, uh, uh, little, the article that I have here regarding um, the payment in gas uh, in rubles in, in Europe, uh, I have it from Business Insider from uh, 27th of April, 2022 by Shalini Nagarjan. And the title is Four European Gas Buyers Have Paid Russia in Rubles for Supplies, Bucking the EU's Urging in the Energy Face-Off. Uh, I was looking here and uh, I was trying to um, find the names, but they do not they do not uh, provide the names of those countries or those those buyers. It says here that uh, this development emerges Russia halted its gas supplies to Poland and Bulgaria on Wednesday, spurring a 28% surge in European gas price. Don't you feel moral, Europeans? You're helping Ukraine, but it's fine. Things must be done, right? Need to be done. Russia's Gazprom said the reason for the stoppage is that both countries did not pay for supplies in rubles, as we said. And uh, an order President Vladimir Putin put forth last month. It doesn't say here uh, who the report didn't mention which four European buyers have made ruble payments. But Austria, which gets 80% gets of its gas from Russia, said Wednesday that deliveries are continuing unrestricted, according to Reuters. So I don't know who's, who's who, what's what. Europe uh, depends on Russian gas. About around forty percent of its gas supply comes from comes from Russia. So that cannot be, um, uh, you know, replaced overnight. Um, and it says another article that I have from the Telegraph from twenty uh, sixth of April. Uh, you know, natural gas prices surge after Russia halted supplies to Poland and Bulgaria, delivering a warning to the rest of Europe that Putin is serious about turning off the tape, the, the taps. Well, I said that a while ago, and many others said that. But you guys, you guys are like children, or I don't know what's going on. And these guys are telling you, we're going to strike, we're going to take care of this. And you say, huh, huh. Like, for instance, the American whatever guy, uh, Austin. What did he say, the General Austin? When the Russians said, hey, we're getting closer to, to the nuclear war. He shrugged off. Really? <laughs> yeah, he did. He did that. So, nevertheless, um, another, another interesting, uh, 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 interesting that um, another article here, it says that uh, Greece will help Bulgaria uh, on this issue. I wonder how. I never heard Greece has natural gas. How will Greece has an abundance of gas somewhere in the cow farts or something or sheep or goat uh, farts? 
How are they going to collect the gas to help Bulgaria? Are they going to give them from their big supply of gas? I have it. But Bulgaria says gas supplies cut its breach of contract. Really? What about embargo on me? Is that a breach of contract too? Why that, that supersedes the our contract, right? So you didn't let the, the Russian uh, uh, tankers and uh, uh, ships to dock in Bulgaria's ports. But when these guys retaliate and they ask, you got to give us rubles, it's, a contract is a contract. Remember what the Germans said in the French when the Russians said, you're going to pay in rubles? They say, no, a contract is a contract. Really? <laughs> All right. So, um, who's that? In the Poland to speed up plans to um, liquid natural gas terminal. So, uh, liquefied, uh, floating uh, liquefied natural gas. Uh, Poland will accelerate the building of its new uh, floating liquefied natural gas terminal after Russia said it was cutting off supplies. It already did. So what are you going to do? You are going to buy a super price from another customer across the Atlantic. That's fine. Polish people, that's good. You're going to pay more. That's fine. But you're going to stick it to Russia. Yes. Yes. And then it says here that... Uh, <clears throat> We have this gentleman, the Deputy Prime Minister um, Rab. I think that's how you you, um, you pronounce his name, Dominique Rab. Russia's decision decision to cut off gas supplies to Poland would add to its status as an economic and political pari pariah. Dominique Rab has said. Uh, I don't think Russia really cares about that. Russia was called, uh, you know, a uh, a sponsor of terrorism by the United States now. It's been uh, not only uh, it's been um, what crime criminal of war war criminals. Uh, so I don't think that the pariah thing uh, is gonna really hurt their feelings at this point. Uh, their armies are uh, obviously people are dying. Uh, they're in a war with Ukraine, and do you think they would care that uh, they're gonna be called pariah? I mean. And this is the leader of a country, right? A foreign prime minister or whatever he is here, right? Deputy prime minister. That's how they think. And then we have here, uh, I know that Russia, uh, Russia put in a, how do you call that? They put some sanctions on some um, uh, PMs in uh, Great Britain. And then their prime minister, what's his name? Uh, MPs in Great Britain, uh, MPs in uh, Great Britain. And then uh, prime minister, um, Johnson said, oh, you guys, you should uh, wear that uh, as a badge of honor. And uh, you guys are going to have a lower standard of living, uh, my fellow British people. But they, they, they are playing with words and they are joking and it's like, oh, yeah, we should do that. Yes, yes, yes. But it, does, it doesn't affect them a bit. I don't think that affects any MPs or any prime minister over there doesn't affect them personally but affects the regular people and they ask us to you know to uh, uh sacrifice and this and they are just yeah yeah we yeah man we were we were banned by the russians aren't we great yes yeah, let's in let's let's make up a little uh medal for that the medal of uh i don't know um uh, freedom uh, universal soldier fighters or something and they're going to be putting that on the chest because they, uh, you know, they made uh, <clears throat> their fellow uh, citizens, you know, fight with us. Yes, you, we are all together in this. That's so childish. Nevertheless, Bulgaria, Poland, you eventually got it, as they said that you will, especially when you started the, uh, as I said, Poland helps with tanks now. It said, what, tanks T-72, I think, to, to Ukraine has uh, the open routes to uh, arms supplies and others to Ukraine. Uh, it's almost a participant in the war, if you want to. It has uh, foreign troops on its territory. Oh, I'm sorry, defense, NATO troops. And um, Bulgaria did not allow Russian uh, uh, ships with the Russian flag to dock in their ports. And uh, they condemned and they called names and so on. And the Russia said, OK, man, you we're going to give you gas. But you're going to give it in our currency. Oh, no. The contract is a contract. You can't do this. No, 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 no. That's not what the contract stipulates. Really? Uh, and then, no, uh, you're going to be the pariah of the, after you call those guys criminals of war and 
uh, terrorist uh, organization and sponsors terrorism and the Russian army is a terrorist organization and uh, Russian uh, state being a sponsor of terrorism and you want these guys to say okay we, my, my bad what do you want want gas for free go on the fields and catch some cows and get it for free <laughs> all right well thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just see ya